Hey, what's happening? It's Mandy James, and this is Mandy James Tries It, where I try something new every single week so you don't have to, unless you really want to. And this week, I'm trying the new Harvest Flavored M&Ms. I believe there's five different flavors, but I only picked up three today. They are butterscotch, s'mores. You've got... <laughs> pecan pie coffee nut and also chili nut now you'll notice um, the bags are open and that's because there was no way a bag of M&M's was gonna make it from the store to my house without being eaten I was just that excited unfortunately I wasn't too impressed and I apologize. Normally I try things for the very first time with you and you're getting my initial reaction. So I've had a few minutes to kind of think about what I thought about each flavor and to process my thoughts. So let's go over the ones that I like the least to the ones that I like the best. Now I've never actually had pecan pie. So um, I feel bad in saying this, but I was kind of hoping that trying the pecan pie M&Ms would make me a pecan pie lover. It did not. The second I opened the bag, it smelled like syrup, cat pee in a Yankee Candle store. But if you're into that sort of thing and you really love pecan pie, you're really going to love these. Unfortunately, the one thing that was missing for me that I think would have made the experience a little bit better is if there was actually peanuts in it. But there's not. There are, however, peanuts and chili nut. What is the deal with chili this year anyway? Why is everybody adding this chili powder to sweet stuff this holiday season and this fall season for that matter? Like Starbucks is doing it with their mochas and now M&M's is doing it with their peanut M&M's. Now these are a little bit deceptive. Now when you put them in your mouth at first, it tastes just like a regular peanut M&M, but the kick comes in about 30 seconds later when your nose starts to run and your throat is on fire. Now if you're into that sort of thing, you will love these because it's sweet, spicy, and hot. Just make sure that you have tissues and a cup of milk handy ASAP. Last but not least, the ones that I tried that I liked the most, but again, I think they're kind of a fluke, is the coffee nut. I opened the bag. I was expecting to smell a hint of coffee. It does a little bit, so I tasted some, and I'm going to right now because I just want some. They're a cute little brown color. When you bite into it, there's a very faint taste of coffee, and it goes away right away leaving it to taste like a regular peanut M&M. Now, if you love chocolate-covered um, coffee beans, it doesn't taste like that. That is kind of what I was expecting, but it tastes just like a regular peanut M&M with a very, 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 very small hint of coffee. So if like you're a caffeine addict or a coffee addict, this is not going to do the trick, but it will, however, take care of your sweet tooth. However, you're much better off saving maybe, I don't know, 12 cents and just buying the regular peanut M&M's. But overall, the new Harvest M&M's aren't that bad. I mean, it's chocolate and peanuts. You can't really screw that up, can you? Thanks for watching this edition of Mandy James Tries It. If there's something that you think that I should try, within reason, of course, make sure to hit me up on Twitter at Mandy J on Air and on Facebook, just search Mandy James.